Okay? So, now you see what the citrine looks like. Now that's a pointed citrine. So like I said, that one's meant for, well, you can point it straight down. Like I said, it brings, brings sunlight into your, into the body, the spiritual body, the, the aura body. So, when it comes to healing citrine, uh, it's been known to aid in digestion. So if you have digestion problems, it's going to help with that. Uh, in an elixir state, which we'll get into another time, uh, it can help with uh, menstrual problems actually, which is very interesting. So someone that has a lot of hot flashes and someone that uh, is having pains with menstrual is going to help with that as well. Yeah. Uh, it takes away fatigue. So if you're tired, this person is tired a lot of the time during the day. It's going to help with that. Um, it's supposed to help with kidney and bladder problems. So obviously you could put the citrine directly on the area of the body you want to help. Uh, citrine is best worn directly on the skin. It's a sunstone. It, it, it needs to touch your skin. Just like the sun rays touch our skin and we produce vitamin D from that. Same with this stone. This crystal needs to be touching your skin. So you, so you could wear it. No, you should wear it touching your skin. It's not a decorative stone to wear outside of the body, outside of the clothing. It should be worn against you. Uh, it can help with eye problems. It detoxifies blood, which makes sense. I mean, what does vitamin D and all those things do? Like, what is the sun doing? It's penetrating your skin with ultraviolet rays. All right, so that makes sense to me. Uh, you can wear it on the finger or throat as a jewelry. So you can wear it around you like this. You can wear it on your finger. As long as it's touching you, um, being encased in, like, say, a gold or a silver, or being encased in some kind of metal, um, I would suggest not to use a metal that your body does not, or a, a metal that's rejected by the body. Um, a lot of metals turn color, like sometimes um, certain silvers will turn green if they're a bad metal. Certain types of metals will turn black on the skin. If your citrine is encased in a jewelry like that, I suggest you remove it. Um, if it's cheaper just to get a new citrine, then chuck it. Because you don't want your body taking um, a bad purity into itself. Citrine isn't going to stop stuff from entering your body, right? That's not its job. So what I would suggest is like a simple twine around it or a simple, um, uh, what do they call that, like a, like a simple wire gauge around it in order to make a jewelry. Um, I probably would suggest more more gold, really, because uh, gold is very digestible by the body. We all have gold in us when we're born. We all have gold in us when we die. Um, <coughs> if you don't know about that, you should look it up. Um, but yes, it's, it is definitely best worn on the skin. That's where you want it. You definitely want this product to be touching your skin to do the job it's supposed to do. Something you don't need to. Something you can rest on a, on the area of the body through this through the clothing. But this one's directly. That's one of the main things about a citrine. <clears throat> um, going back to going back to where we talk about where citrine is good for bringing in success and wealth and productivity and um, um, yeah where it's going to bring where it's going to bring the, the motivation the best place to hold a citrine is in the farthest left hand corner of your home that's what they call the money section of your house now most people uh, usually do it in the main left hand corner when you first open the door so uh, let me just draw a diagram for you It'd be a lot easier so here's your home this is your door 
this would be So it would look like this. So that's what it looked like. So you want when you enter your thing the farthest left. The farthest left hand corner of your home. That's your money making corner. Um, some people actually go as far as putting one in every left hand corner of every room. Depending if you're a business, depending if you do a home based business, depending on what you're trying to attract. But that's where normally it rests if you're using it for that purpose. And then, and then again, you still have to program it to do so. It can be programmed for any of the things I talked about today. Any of those things can be used for this tree. But you really need to focus on what you're programming it to do. Like I said, it's in my previous, my previous um, uh, videos, that uh, it's just one little crystal. Right? It can't do the job of 15,000 things. Right? You can't just expect it to sit there and go, oh, I'm doing all these things that he talked about because I have the citrine. Mm, no. You need to program it and reprogram it in order for it to do it. Okay, so let's take one more look at this beautiful baby one more time. <laughs> 